Gemini. Ooh, ooh, here we are. Ooh, ooh, so Gemini. Never mind my ratchet nail polish. I was going to change it today for some readings, but I was out all day with my 19-year-old Sagittarius queen. Wow, this was quick. Okay, so I'm going to take it. I was going to say, I'm going to get a card from Love Oracle, Amir's Love Oracle cards, and it just flew the freebie jeebies out. And guess what? It's your soulmate, the person that you're thinking about, your love interest, or the connection that you have, whatever it may be, whatever's comfortable for you right now, it's a, it's a general reading. Gemini is your soulmate, baby. It's your soulmate. Take it easy. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a cup of wine. However the heck you want to take it, boo-boo, because it's your soulmate, babe. So let's get this started for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am Moon and Venus. I enjoy being a Gemini because talk about crazy out there. Uh, depends on your mood because I'm Cancer, Sun, and Rising. So that my Gemini, Moon, and Venus really like drive me nuts. So then we're doing a love energy reading for the month of, wow, okay, um, Decisions. There's a lot of decisions for you right now, Gemini, that you're making or that you're pondering or that you want to do. But I, I think this doesn't have to do with love. All right. So only positive energies around me. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You're manifesting like crazy. Gemini, what's going on? A lot of cards are coming out. The magician. Using all the tools, baby. And you're manifesting. You're manifesting like a beast. I like that. And you were right behind it. Look at that. Queen of Swords, that's you, boo-boo. That's your energy. So, Gemini, before more cards start coming out, thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you so much. I'm going to do the love energy spread. I'm going to do this for all the readings. You know, I mean, most of the readings that I'm going to um, resonate with. Okay, whatever. Gemini, listen, this is your energy now for May. It could run into June. It's whenever you see this reading, you know, energies the, in the spirit world, the, the spirits don't know. They don't recognize time or hours, right? 2, 3, 4 p.m. or next week. They don't know, nor do they care. They work through energy. This is your energy. This is your person's energy. And the middle is the energy of um, what the spirit guides are working on between both of you. Soulmate, Alma Gemela. So then here on top is a potential outcome. Alma Gemela, you magician. That's soulmate in Spanish. Look at this. King of Swords is showing up. Hey, boo. How you doing? Let's see if the King of Swords wants to make up his mind, huh? All right, Gemini. So let's see. That's your energy too, Gem. So you have to make up your mind too, Gemini. Let's see. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Only positive energies are allowed around this reading, around me, for Gemini. I send positive energy to Gemini. All the Geminis out there, you're strong, you're crazy, you're funny, you're out there. You don't give a hoot what people think. <laughs> yes, I love it. You can always notice when there's strong Gemini in someone's chart because... Gemini, you, why are you showing up for your own reading? You saw. You flipped. Something new coming in. Ooh, child. My beautiful gem. Something awesome, awesome coming in. And I start with my tongue twisting because I get all excited, right? All right. Guys, let's see. Let's just do this because I'm not going to spend forever and a day on these readings. We were out and about. You like my, um, my little setup? I got a few things at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Mama is not going to spend a lot of money on a lot of things. You should see what this setup is made up from. Did I just do this again? Yes. Okay, gems, my beautiful gems. <laughs> I really hate that, gems. This is your energy, your person's energy, what the spirit guys want to tell you, and a potential outcome. Mm-hmm. And the bottom of the deck, meaning what the whole reading is pretty much comprised of, is the Ace of Swords. The aha moment, the clarity that was needed is coming in now in May around this time. All right. And wow, there's movement forward. The Chariot card, the Cancer card. I like it. Very nice, guys. Very sweet and dandy. Okay. 
Gemini, I was going to say Cancer because I just did the Cancer reading. Gemini, what's your, okay, slow and steady. This is your energy for May. Slow and steady, making your money, taking your time and anything. You're grounded. You are checking out all the possibilities of what can come your way. And you're not hurrying. And Gemini, you're being uh, stable, as in not being a nutty McNutt nut just chasing here and chasing there and accepting or how is it called settling for somebody or anybody or anything yeah i really resonate with this because you know what it's about our time 2020 purge as in you know what mm -mm, i'm gonna get what i deserve this year and this year is going to be stable love it's going to be a beautiful offer of love and it's coming in slowly but this is your energy remember your energy is grounded you know what you want and you're waiting and you're there and you don't care you don't care. Any other offers can come in, but baby, no, you're waiting for this. No more BS. No more stagnant offers. No more players. Their energy. The world. Okay, so I call this the drama card, but regardless, it's the world. As the world turns, the drama card, because it's a soap opera. Maybe they're going through some soap opera stuff in their life. Most probably, that's it. This is four signs all together, all the four elements, right? There's air, there's earth, there's fire, earth, fire, wind, fire, earth, wind, and fire, like the group. But regardless, you know what, babe? Stay in your energy. It's coming in. This person is coming in. If they're not here already, you get it? They may be an air sign because the ace of swords, and you may be with somebody like that. But regardless, this is your soulmate. The soulmate is coming in, right? Love of your life. Let them come in at their own pace and their own time because they're figuring something out in their um, side of the world. This is also the world as in they may be from some other place, different than where you are from, totally different kind of ethnicity or kind of, you know, the way that they're brought up, totally different, totally different religion also. This is what this card means here, okay? Also Gemini, so just keep that in mind. But they're going through their, their stuff Maybe a karmic cycle. This is can be a cycle also with somebody else, but they're finishing it up, okay? That's what it means. So what are your spirit guides, you and this person's spirit guides working on? Wow. Ace of Wands, beautiful new beginnings, passionate beginnings, Gemini. I really like this card because it has to do with amazing, passionate, um, loving, and sensual beginnings. I was going to say sexual, but the sensual aspect of it comes in first, and then the sexual aspect comes in first. What is the difference between sensual and sexual to you? If you would love to write a comment, I would love to know what your outlook on this is, because your spirit guides, both of you up in the ethers up here, they're brewing this. They have their little pot, and they're brewing all of the beauty of what this card depicts, the Ace of Wands, all of the action, the passion, the sensual feeling of knowing that your soulmate is around and your soulmate is coming in. Look at the two little soulmate flames, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now let's see the potential outcome for the end of May for coming into June, wherever the energy extends to. Oh my God. Gemini, it's you. It's your energy. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be a Libra or Gemini or Aquarius that's coming your way. And this is beautiful energy. It's cutthroat. Yes, because all three of us, especially Gemini, oof, and Aquarius, cutthroat, they will tell you de lo que te vas a morir. It is like a direct cutthroat. What? What did you just say? Okay, bam, I'm going to answer you and I'm, I'm not really going to care. But this is the energy here of a potential outcome that's going to be um, positive. Look at her hand up in the air as in, yes, come hither, come hither potential outcome. You are mine, queen of swords is saying, I'm the HBIC of the positive outcome of this love energy reading. I'm gonna get some at the same time. And these two energies here, are going to be the aha moment with a very positive conclusion. Le Chariot, Le Ace of Swords. 
right, Gemini? And it's going to be this type of connection. So you know what? Manifesting this and knowing that it's going to come in now, this year, as soon as everything clears up. Remember the slow and grounded, right? You're grounded, Gemini. You're not rushing into anything. I don't see any rushing cards here because you're done, right? You're done with the BS. You're done with the... Wow, I was going to say one night stands. I'm so sorry because that's not even me. But regardless, you're done with the, I don't know, one night wonders, I guess, that want to come forth and just mess with you. No, that's it. Sharp to the point, it's going to happen. This is what you're manifesting. This is what we're doing now, Gemini. Okay, my loves. So uh, I'm on TikTok. I'm excited about it too. I'm on TikTok, Celia's Tarot. I'm on IG, Celia's Tarot. And I'm on YouTube, as you know, Celia's Tarot. And if you subscribe to all three and send me a quick little beautiful message on IG, Instagram, Celia's Tarot. Hey, Celia, I have subscribed to all three of your social medias. I want a free one card reading. I'm going to check up on you, like Beyonce. I'm going to check up on you. But I'll give you your one card, one free, one card free reading, if I could say it right. I love you guys. Take care. Don't pay attention to my ratchet nails, please. All right. So then keep in touch and subscribe. I love you guys. I still have $20 readings, by the way. Bye.